the history of the Hmong people for the years that I was there. The Hmong lived in very high places on very isolated hills. One of the problems is, while you can build a village by bringing bamboo and other things up and putting a ring of trenches around to defend yourself from, the ground is not particularly good. You slash, burn the trees, you plant the rice, and burn the rubbish that is cut. And you can get one, two, maybe three harvests of the hill rice, but after that, you have to move on. The villages were quite isolated, but with the airline, basically, that we had flying back and forth and two and three days marches, you would be able to begin connecting with other Hmong in this giant network of a Hmong nation. When they arrived in Samton for medical treatment and were ready to go, they would often just go to the airport. And the rationale made sense. Why should I walk three days back to my village when, if I wait here long enough, a plane will just pick us up and take us back to where we were.